welcome back to Gordon School of English channel again. Today we have a poem that is called a freedom song that was written by Majori O. McGoy. Atieno washes dishes. Atieno plucks the chicken. Atieno gets up early. Beds her sacks down in the kitchen. Atieno, eight years old. Atieno, yo. Since she is my sister child, Atieno needs no pay. While she works, my wife can sit. Sewing every Sunday. With her earnings, I support. Atieno, yo. Atieno's lion dealers. Bad example to the kids. Since she minds them like a schoolgirl. Want their dresses, shoes, and beads. Atieno, 10 years old. Atieno, yo. Now my wife is going to start. Atieno is less free. Don't I keep her school my own ones? Pay the part union fee. All for progress until great if Atieno, yo. Visitors need much attention. All the more when I wake night, that girl spends too long at market. Who will teach her what is right? Atieno, rising 14, Atieno, yo. Atieno's had a baby, so we know that she's bad. 50-50 may live and repeat the life she had, ending in postpartum breeding. Atieno, yo. Atieno is soon repressed. Meat and sugar more than all. She ate in such a narrow life. We are lavished on her funeral. Atieno is going to grow. Atieno, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the poem, uh, a freedom song. It is commonly known as Atieno, yo. What is the poem about? The poem is about a girl called Yatieno, she is humiliated by her uncle and her auntie. She is overworked at home. Okay, who is speaking in the poem? We have to understand who is speaking in the poem. Okay, Atieno's uncle is the one who is speaking in the poem. He says, since he is my sister's child. Okay, so that shows that the uncle is speaking here in the poem. What are the, cha what are the challenges facing Atieno? Atieno is faced with different kinds of challenges or problems. The first is humiliation. Atieno is humiliated by her uncle. As I said, she is overworked. She is not paid. When she works. Another challenge is lack of education. Atieno is not sent to school. She likes seeing the girls who are going to the school with their exercise books, dresses, uh, and beads for counting or for counting numbers, and their shoes too. Another challenge is improper parental care. Atieno is not cared of well. The uncle and the aunt are not taking care of her properly. Instead, they are torturing her. Another challenge is child labor. As I said, she is always waking up early while others are still asleep. That is only to do different assigned tasks given uh, to her by the uncle. The other issue is segregation. So Atieno is segregated. She sleeps uh, in the kitchen while others are sleeping in the main house. She has no bed. She puts sacks down and sleeps over there. So those are the challenges that face uh, Atieno. What is the tone of the poet? The poet is sympathetic. However, I wonder why is he sympathetic? 
because the poet, I mean the uh, because the 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 persona is the uncle. The uncle was supposed to take care of uh, that girl, but she, I mean, but the uncle is doing contrary to that. Anyway, the tone is sympathetic. The poet is sympathizing with Atieno, who is humiliated and tortured by her maternal uncle. What are the themes found in this poem? Child labor, lack of education, improper parental care, and child mortality. Those are the themes. The first theme is child labor. This girl is overworked at home. She does a lot of work in her young age. And in spite of doing all those works, she is not paid anything and they don't care about uh, her childish or her childhood. Another theme is lack of education. Atieno is not educated. She is not taking me to school. Although she likes going to school, but she is not given that opportunity. Atieno only presents many other young girls and especially in African continent, who are not taken to school on the ground that they are girls and they have to work at home and wait for spouses or spouses to pick them. Apart from that, we have improper parental care. Atieno's uncle and Atieno's aunt do not take care of her properly. They allow her to go to the market even at night and there, Atieno meets with boys who seduces her and impregnate her. Another theme is child mortality. That is, death of children at their younger ages. This child mortality is caused by postpartum breeding during delivery because. Atieno gets pregnant during her younger age. She, bre she overbreeds and the child that she bears, uh, she bears dies and uh, Atieno's herself die at her tender age. What about the message? The first message is that we have to take care of our children. We have to upbring our children properly. Another message is we have to send our children to school. Another message is it is important to alleviate poverty in our families. We do not have to depend on our children to work for us. And instead, we have to try to do all, all possible means to get away with poverty. The last message is we have to discourage child labor. Child labor is not good. It is better to discourage it in our societies. And whenever we see any person overworking a child, uh, we have to report them to the police stations. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to the simple analysis of the poem. Welcome back to our channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.